Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. This is where we left off. I decided not to do any gathering of anything. We're just going to jump in here. Yeah, that's the end of the level. Uh, I don't know why I decided not to just end the level at this point, but here we are, Unruly Evil. Do I remember this level? I do remember there's at least one level where you can open the door you come in through. Uh, but I haven't found it. So, uh, I have been advised that maybe I should let the enemies fight one another a bit more often. Maybe that's true. Uh, certainly from an ammo perspective, that is true. But then again, so is the chainsaw. And the problem with getting letting enemies fight each other is they have to actually fight each other. Which is not something that's happening too often in my, uh, in my experience so far. I mean, it does happen, but it only tends to happen when it's such a dogfight anyway. I can't really pick my targets too well. In, in this point, I should probably be... Um, Chainsawing everything, but I generally don't care too much about that. I have full ammo for my shotgun, and don't forget, we picked up the ammo pack, I think in the last level. The one that was really difficult to get out of without accidentally teleporting. Um, I don't remember this level, actually. Um, so, we have full, full ammo, not just original full ammo for the shotgun, which means... Really trying to let these things attack one another is not necessarily going to help, I suppose. Um, furthermore, this is full of imps, and I suspect that they're not actually going to fight each other at all, because I don't think the faction will fight itself, as it were. So maybe the uh, maybe the troopers will fight the imps, I know that much, but I don't think the imps are going to fight each other. So I'm not going to worry about that too much, I'm just going to run around with my shotgun, and beat the crap out of everything. With 100% health, I don't mind picking up some extra health vials. I didn't mean to pick up the armor vial earlier, uh, if that's not clear. Because I have 1% armor now. I want to actually pick up an armor. Uh, I want to pick up armor. Like real... A bag of armor armor. A bag of armor? Yeah, that's how that works. So there's obviously something back there. I have now taken more damage than it was worth to uh, pick up those vials. Because we have zero armor, of course, the lucky shot with a shotgun, which I'm considering a lucky shot because enemies are not that good at shooting. Um, I'm going to consider that just bad damage. And move on. I don't know why I went in there. Basically, I want to do anything but stand on this. So I'm going to stand on this and run. Oh, hello. Let's um, chainsaw this. The nice thing about using the chainsaw to do this is it will wake up anything that is waiting in ambush. 42% uh, health has noted that... Oh, uh, smeg. Um, it's called Ambush Mode. I remember when I was making the levels that it was called... Um, death or something. It didn't call it Ambush Mode in the actual flag. Uh, dormant. They called it Dormant. Which, as noted, doesn't require them to be able to see you, but they will not wake up on hearing you. So... Not done too well there, probably because I fell in the lava and then stood on it like a, like a moron. At least there's HP in there, which honestly I don't deserve, so I guess just thanks to the game for enabling me in this situation. We should probably use something else slightly more accurately, but how is that enemy suddenly that good a shot, huh? That's twice now that thing's managed to... A particular enemy archetype has managed to deal damage. In a situation that I do not believe it should be able to. Wow, that's three times. Although I can apparently take a full shotgun blast to the face. Uh, and all it does is hurt a bit. So that's cool. I can hear things happening. Elsewhere. Which does not fill me with confidence. We may have to start this level again. Because every single time I've anticipated an ambush, I've been correct. And then completely failed to deal with it correctly. So... We should go through here. Yes. Ah, got you. And we'll take this. Very good. Now we should get out of here. I mean, I'm aware there's a teleporter here, so maybe we don't need to get out of here. We should certainly explore this zone before the invulnerability runs out. Can we get it there? No. Because uh, this floor hurts. We have invulnerability left. Not much. Let's try this teleporter then. Alright, just takes us back here. Uh, obviously, we don't need that HP, and that was actually a pretty useful place we've gone, but it's kind of off limits to us now, so. 
That <laughs> makes up for all the bad stuff I did just now, but it doesn't quite make up for it. I mean, it says exit. I don't like the idea of it. Um, it doesn't make up for it because I would have way more XP right now if I hadn't done all that. And this is probably going to hurt too, so maybe we make the noise again? It didn't hurt. Okay. A couple more buttons. Let's go for the even bigger gun. That was, uh, I forgot how long it takes to actually, um, charge up. So, that was not ideal. Yes, do you fight you? So, uh, Mark has stopped glowing. The decals on the walls are obviously uh, quite new. I don't think Doom has anything quite so complicated as such as uh, holes. I think it might have had holes in the walls, literally, in the sense of those uh, dots that bullets make. But I don't think it had anything as complicated as that glowing uh, BFG decal that we saw just now. Yeah, there's only one thing up here. I kind of came up here to see if I'd missed something else, but I hadn't. The lifts are very forgiving, which you can expect, I suppose, because they wouldn't necessarily anticipate you uh, being a... a Oh, hello. Being a constant runner. Perma run move. You wouldn't have been in those days. That sounds like... Oh. Well, I mean, we can still do this. Ow. So you shouldn't really do things like that, but I did. And you've watched this series long enough to know that I'm basically going to continue to. He says, immediately not doing so because this Kakademon is more scary than that Kakademon. There we go. Don't know why that one was more scary than this one, but there you go. Right, the exit is open, and there's more stuff in this level that I'm very reluctant to try and deal with, because... Like, this obviously opens, surely. Don't forget that you can... Did Doom have shootable walls? That's uh, that's that lift, actually, so there's not going to be anything behind there. I don't remember if it did. I know that Quake did. It was very common in Quake, actually, to find... Um, shootable walls. That is probably the end of this game then, if we go in there. So I'm tempted to find out what's in there and see whether it's worth it. So let's, um, let's save scum this because why the hell not. We'll see what's in here. Not really worth the effort, but at least it didn't punish us too hard, I guess. Could do with some more HP if <laughs> it's all the same to you. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just go jump through that hole. Probably missed a bunch of stuff in this level, but um, honestly, I'm out. Yeah, no more, no more pickups. We jump through. Quite like this uh, jumping into the sky thing that we've got going on. Secret zero percent. I believe, uh, according to forty-two percent gamer, who said that um, secrets in Doom in this port, the Zed Doom or the Zandronum Doom. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a, a re. It's rewritten, basically. It's um, ported to a more modern engine, as we all know, because we've talked about that ad infinitum when we uh, first started playing. Where's that cacodemon? There it is. Um, if there were no secrets, it would give you 100% secret completion. So I know that there was a secret in that level, because I didn't find it. But I don't really care too much. I think I've already hung the lampshade that I'm not too bothered about finding all the secrets uh, in this particular playthrough. I was just looking to see if there's Because in Hexen there was a list of... There was a count of the number of monsters you killed. Uh, which would obviously go up every time a monster showed up. That was weird. That wasn't your YouTubes going wrong. That was entirely the game just not making a noise at that point. Can you not get through here or... Oh, you just look that bad at this. You can get through it. <laughs> Good. I mean, they should have really been attacking each other, but that did not happen, unfortunately. don't really remember this level either, if I'm being honest. So I'm just going to keep playing it and see what happens. Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. I remember doing that. Honestly, I thought this was a Doom 2 level. Maybe there's a similar level in Doom 2. I am now tempted to play Doom 2 because the discussion in the comments has... Oh, you shot you, did you? See, that was another monster in fighting thing. You know, let them fight each other. Didn't even realise they were fighting each other. 
I mean, in this situation, just prepare to town on the, uh... You are a dick. Because you just exploded a barrel behind me. This makes me sad. I dodged with my face just now. Pick up this damn health. There we go. Okay, that's something we want as well. With so much shotgun ammo around, I'm kind of not bothered about min-maxing anything anymore. Especially since it cost me so much damage to actually achieve that just now. Let's go back up here. Oh, you made me jump. You scared the crap out of me. Actually made me jump. That's a... Uh, mad cheese at this stage. I've seen it all now. There's something satisfying about the, uh, the Doom shotgun animation. All the other weapons just don't have the same fire mechanic that makes me feel that little bit I don't know why I got pushed forwards there a little bit more uh, more useful, more entertaining to use a shotgun it feels like you've uh, actually put some effort into shooting things come on, one more percentage of health and then we can oh, kind of hoping that I'll be able to step out and in without triggering the, uh, the damage tick it's okay Another level where there's um, aesthetics of the sort of military bases combined with the aesthetics of the, the hell stuff. I don't know what would you call it. Hell stuff. Because having a skull door that is actually a, a, one of these mechanical blast type doors. Ow. Genuinely thought that you'd wandered off, to be honest. Let's take a few more HP. This um, this level has done me what for? I think is uh, the best way of saying it. The most British way possible of saying it is that it has showed me who's boss. It's done me done me what for? Uh so I <laughs> might have to restart this one. Although we did have to restart the previous one and then didn't because uh, it turned out that it forgave me with a soul sphere. So maybe this one will do the same. If I get rid of these, they can't be the death of me. I can't do it to myself. I can't, because that would really hurt. So then trigger that and see where it goes. Oh, look, a caca demon. That would have been really difficult to do if I was using the keyboard. Spin around, open the door, spin back to see if the caca demon had turned up, which it had. No, that would have been a very slow maneuver back then. Let's use something... Yeah. I think a little bit of extra power at this stage is certainly going to help. Plus, can't help but notice there is a, a thing for which I'm definitely not going to feel bad uh, about using the plasma gun. Plus, there is indeed a plasma gun. But I already have one, so thanks to the game for supplying me with one before this point. I think I got it from the secret room, actually, so that's pretty nice. So, um, take these out. Does the chain gun per bullet do more damage than the pistol per bullet? It would make sense if it did, because I assume it would fire them with greater velocity. And yeah, you, you expect more than just... Uh, What am I saying? You expect more than just more bullets, more DPS, don't you? you? You actually expect more damage from something like this. I want to go over there and get that, but I don't. So what I'm going to do is come back up here. Oh, the blood streaming from my face right now is not pleasing. That scared me. <laughs> Ooh. I'm guessing that this switch simply brings it back down again. It just looked like a lift, so I pressed it. I mean, it's the way you play these old arcade games, isn't it? So let me want to deal with this joke. Uh, yeah, you missed, which pleases me greatly, because if you hadn't have missed, I would have been a bit sad. Uh, just expect enemies around every corner. This level is not forgiving. It's not the final level, either. It's called They Will Repent. This is a... 
key for a door that I've yet to find. Nice. Okie dokie. Nice red glow from that. Something else not present in the original engine. Obviously. I don't know if that is obvious, actually. It sounded a little bit patronising. Um, the original engine just didn't have the lighting capabilities. It didn't even have the colour spectrum to do something like this. I see a soul sphere down there. And I also see a lost soul. I think they're called lost souls. The nice thing about this lighting engine is you can see them approaching. I found the key. The door for which I got a key. So I can now pick this up. Use this. Right, that's that. We've been there. Yes. So now we can go back up here, get the soul sphere, without worrying about soul radiation leaking too much. Get rid of everything here. You see, the, chains, the chain gun is not as satisfying as the shotgun, because you don't get that tactile feeling of re reloading and pumping it every time you fire it, um, which is fairly important, believe it or not, to me. Oh, okay. Genuinely thought I was going down that pit, but it did not happen. Oh, that hurts more than I'd like it to. Okay. Jump over here. Please don't drift off the side when you're chainsawing an enemy. That would be silly. We found the yellow door, of all things. Uh-oh. Get out of here. We're done. Right. There is another one, which is why I came back this way. Also, I'd like to find the yellow key. Uh, it doesn't protect you from explosions, so don't try and chainsaw a barrel. <laughs> don't mind. Guess we go down here, see what we get. Don't do that, because there may be a barrel. We've been through this. Can't chainsaw barrels. Nice. Is that a secret exit? Kind of looks like one. We'll, um, we'll, we'll revisit that, because we have to go and find the blue door. Which we have found, we just have to go and return to it. Uh, which is right here. Right? This is the other side of that. So now we need to find the yellow key. Good gracious. I mean, maybe it was down here. I'm not sure if this place is a trap that you're supposed to have to get out of again. Or if it's the actual play direction you're supposed to go. Oh, I see. That is the real exit. Now, the chainsaw is very satisfying to use. I'll give you that. Um, ah. This is an interesting situation. You have to exit this level. Unless you run hard enough that you get over there. I kind of want to see the secret level, though. Unless it doesn't. You know what? Well, mm. here's what we'll do. We'll cut this episode here and leave it on a cliffhanger. Okay, I'm going to save it here. Where did you save? Yes. I'm going to save it here. When we come back, I will have decided whether or not to replay that. Well, I'll replay that level myself and then uh, maybe show you what I did to replay it, depending on what happens in the, the the secret level, depending on what those teleporters did. If those teleporters turned out to be interesting, I'll make an episode out of them, uh, and we can see that. If they don't turn out to be interesting, I'll pick up here, where we've saved, uh, and pull that switch. Of course, if that switch turns out to be lying about being in the exit, that will also be entertaining. So on that cliffhanger note, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to uh, leave a like and a subscribe and all those cool things uh, and go check out other people's content on this very channel. But I hope you're enjoying this content. I hope you're looking forward to the next series and I'll see you in the next episode.